know what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rip the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. All right, Terrence Crawford. You know, obviously they had uh, about to fight this weekend on BLK Prime against David Alvarez, right? And he was asked about Earl Spence again. He said it can happen, but you know the fans can't get 100% what they want in boxing. Um, but he said that he definitely would like to go to 54 and fight Jamil Charlo, and that he will step on Jamil Charlo. So I think he really, really begged Jamil Charlo. Just you know, some of that boxing boys interview, excuse me, it's my name, and starting the league and they starting the stuff that he had people like a week behind. That shit was like last Friday. But you know, he said he'd step on Jamil Charlo. And what he's trying to do is trying to bait Jamel Charlo and then ask Al Heyman to make that fight. And he said so. He said, and I did a video on this. He said in that same boxing uh, view, a boxing boys interview, shout out to them and my boy Brandon over there. He said in that same video, he said in that interview, he said that Earl Spence just do what Al Heyman say. Jamel Charlo crazy, I'm paraphrasing, crazy enough to go actually demand the fight. That's exactly what he said. And he baiting Jamel Charlo. And Jamel, Jamel probably went already went to go ask. Like, let me fuck this nigga up. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my language. And I was like, nah, nah, it's probably gonna make Earl look bad. You know, if we make this fight, it's gonna make him look bad. And he said he'll step on that nigga. He said he feels strong physically and emotionally and you know all that type of stuff. He said he'll step on that nigga. He talking real breezy and people said, well you just he's just perping or he's just He's just playing around. I don't know why you believe him. I mean, why would he, what, 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 what he got to gain off clout chasing? Do we come off a, a, as a guy who clout chase? That's what I'm trying to understand. Do we come off a guy that bullshit? Even though Jamil Charlo would be favorite, big, big 154, athletic 154, gifted 154. He beat Jamil, Jamil Charlo in a tougher fight than me. I feel like Jamil and Errol Spence get in the ring and Jamil fought like he did versus Castano. He didn't beat the shit out of Spence ass. I mean, you know, he got way more bells and whistles than Spence. And a better athlete. Only reason Spence will have a chance is because he already mastered the style that Derrick James won. That Derrick James laid out for him. Obviously, he's been with him longer. But with Jamil Charlo, you know, now that they, uh, Derrick gave him some aggression in his game, you know, he started mixing aggression with the, the boxing and sticking and moving that he used to do. That's an easy fight for him. I don't agree with the assessment that all oh, he better than uh, I mean Errol Smith's better than him. I don't agree with that assessment. They got in the ring and fought, and they said, man, you know, only one person coming out alive that can come out the ring alive, nigga. Man, I'm going with Jamil Charlo. They fight on points. I'm going with Jamil Charlo all day, every day. And you know, I favor him to beat Terrence Crawford. That's a lot of size, bro. That's a lot of athleticism. You know, only reason you know, only reason that he could lose, cause he been at the weight so fucking long, and they and they be having them out the ring so long. So when you when you at a weight that you should have been moved up at, that continue and you ain't active, even though he stay in the gym, but that that make you vulnerable. That makes you very vulnerable. But yeah, he talking real breezy, you know. And I wish he started you talking breezy about Errol Spence. I wish he go on a smear Spence campaign. And the bad thing about that, sometimes you can light a fire under the nigga ass, he gonna give you everything you want. But then again, that's that's kind of what you know you can Crawford's a competitor. He wanna beat you at his best, at your best. I smear the shit out of Errol Spence campaign. I'll make that whole fight me. I'll make him make Al Hammond get in the ring. I thought I told you that we won't stop. But you know, he gonna, he gonna be in Jamil Charlo. He in Jamil Charlo here right now. That ain't hard to do. And that's probably his biggest weakness. Cause you can fuck with the nigga. He, you know, he fight off emotion. That's his biggest weakness. It's not a, nothing, nothing else about his box game. His biggest weakness is he fight off of emotion. If he checked his emotion, he might, he might be, he might be one, he might be to go down as the greatest 154 pound fighter to ever live. With him being so, him fighting on uh, you know, emotion, it's a yin and a yang too. It do some good too. But, you know, he, he trying to get one of them dudes to come out there, but Al Heyman can't do that. You can make the Charlo fight, but you can't make the Earl fight. Now we can we can get on the whiteboard or get on the chalkboard and say, 
You know, we get up there and say, well, you know, it's more, it's financially doable. Jamel ain't no pay-per-view star. Earl ain't no pay-per-view. What do you think? He's no Earl ain't. I mean, Terrence ain't. You know, this we can give y'all. Y'all can fight. So, yeah, it's probably financially, more financially doable. And, you know, obviously it's a big risk for Terrence Crawford. But he feel confident about beating Jamel Charlo. Maybe because he load up. But he fast. Come on, man. What you going to do? He fast. You know, but he been at the weight a long time, and you know, and he said, you know, what if Terrence Crawford did deserve a shot at me? He ain't did nothing at 54. We, Jamil, man, you know how the game works, and if you don't know how it works, you know, you know, Bernard Hopkins, Marvin Hagel, a lot of them dudes made a living off of fighting guys coming up. Canelo, you know, fought, they was fighting junior welterweights like Josito Lopez, Floyd Mayweather, all types of shit. The smaller guys bring the money most of the time. And that's just the way it is. The smaller guys bring the money. You know, the smaller guys bring the money. But telling you gonna step on a nigga and all that, he definitely, he definitely gonna gotta say something back. He definitely get win of that. He gonna get on Instagram live and go crazy and shit. And he trying to get him to go ask Al Heyman and make Al Heyman make that fight. You know, when they fight, they're going to be for undisputed, though. They're going to get stripped or something. You can't satisfy all the sanctions about bodies. And a lot of people, you know, the Fondor fight looming for him. I think he'd be Fondor. I don't, you know, I don't think it'd be too much issue for him. Durable, athletic, and punch. He gonna push Fondor back. The pressure might get to him. And Tim Zoo pressure, you know, as long as it lasts, Tim Zoo pressure, you know, might get to him. He don't like the pressure. And I think that come from, that might just be naturally what he don't like, but maybe because he fights so emotional. When you fight emotionally, it kind of, it kind of, you know, kind of makes stuff kind of murky and cloudy. You know? So maybe that's what it is. But yeah, he don't like pressure. You know, you start backing up Charlo, loading up. You know, countering them, punching with them. Somebody took my parking spot today. I don't know who that is, man. I would ask you. But, you know, well, yeah, when you talk about you're going to step on somebody. <laughs> you talk about you're going to step on a nigga, man. Like, come on, man. You got to respond, Jamel. Oh, nigga. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll step on nothing. You know, uh, uh, he humble himself. Do what Earl Spence say do. Uh, 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 uh. You don't go for fuck with me. You ain't gonna fuck with me. <laughs> my home, my crew tree bringing all your niggas' house. <laughs> that nigga be. <laughs> you gotta love the passion, dog. You gotta love the passion. You gotta love the passion. Tony Harrison do what he had to do. Got inside that nigga head. That shit was funny as hell. And they ain't do nothing but make but make him uh. Bigger as a fucking fighter or bigger as a personality. But when niggas know that some words can get to you, they always gonna push your buttons. You know what I'm saying? That's what women do. Women well, women know what can anger you. That's what they tell. That's why, you know, you hear women say, well, I don't want no emotional men or niggas tell you, you gotta worry how to check your emotions when dealing with women. People gotta understand. You ain't checking your emotions at all. You suppressing your emotions. It ain't about all oh, just sitting there not being emotional. Chick do something to you that anybody do something that make you angry. It's gonna make you angry, no matter what it is. Don't don't fall into this shit where niggas say, "Well, you gotta check your emotional. You you being too emotional and all that shit." Do any other animal out here in the world, you know, if that anger anger they gonna let you know. So you hold that shit in. At some point, it gotta come out. If it's gonna come out in the gym. It's gonna come out here in the bag. It's gonna come out on your keys. It's gonna come out at your coworkers. It's gonna come out on your side chick. It's gonna come out on, on your brother, your homies. Something. Something. So when niggas come on, we gotta check your, you can't be so emotional. Where, where does that emotion go? You know what I'm saying? So you, you gotta have an outlet for your emotion at somewhere. And trust me, sometimes you hold it in, you hold some shit in for years and shit as a kid, whatever it is. 
You know what I'm saying? And it come out, and it, it you can't stop it. Tools all the way out. So, you know, therapy and all that type of shit, I always recommend that. Talking to somebody, you know, because your homeboys, they don't give a fuck, trust me. You know what I'm saying? Women are more... They show, they, they show, you know, they, they more, you know what I'm saying? But then, you know, you talk to your woman about that shit, she gonna hold it against your ass. But your homeboys don't give a fuck. Trust me. That, that I will tell you. Your homies don't give a fuck. They ain't gonna lie to you. But, um, but yeah, man, come on, I'm gonna step on this nigga and all that, man. Talking real greasy, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe, subscribe to the box, subscribe to the boxing news playlist. Or check out the boxing uh, news playlist. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Say that again. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and a host of others. Um, appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. My cash up in my PayPal there. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.